Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I will be reviewing Duval Triple Hop. Now, as you might have guessed from the name, what makes this one special is they've added a third hop variety. And what's kind of cool is every year they do this, they uh, decide on a different hop. So this year for 2012, they chose the Citra Hop, which is one of my favorite hop varieties. So I'm really looking forward to trying this. Ever since I heard they were using Citra, I've been dying to try it. So let's go ahead and crack into it, even though I'm tempted to do that as I'm speaking here. All right, one final step. I'm going to try and do this as quietly as possible. Come on, almost there. Two hours later. Eh, a little bit of a pop, not too much. Alright. So you want to serve this at about 55 degrees, and this is 8.5%, no, excuse me, that's the regular dual. This is 9.5% ABV, so decently strong. A whole percentage point stronger than regular dual anyways. Man, the opening of this video is taking forever, isn't it? Sorry about that. That's what happens when you have something like this. Alright. So, as you can see, that pours out exactly like regular Duval. Uh, nice amount of carbonation. <laughs> about three and a half, four fingers of really fluffy white head. Completely clear golden yellow. Looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and take our first sniff. Wow. Right off the bat, the Citra Hop definitely jumps out. There's a lot of citrus and lemony notes. You definitely still get the apple and pear notes from regular Duval. A little bit of a kind of like piney resinous hop note. Some definite grassy floral aromas. A little bit of like a white pepper, slight banana and clove notes. Yeah, this smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Just like in the aroma, you can definitely notice the addition of the citra hop. Um... There's a lot of really nice citrusy hop character. There's a good amount of like resinous piney hop, uh, orange peel, a little bit of lemon zest. There's white pepper in there. There's a nice amount of like an apple and pear and banana notes, really fruity esters. Just nice traditional Belgianese characteristics. There's some coriander, kind of like a white peppery type of spice. Nice bready, biscuity uh, type of malt. You cannot taste or smell the alcohol. There's a very, very, very slight warming effect that just go down. But uh, for 9.5%, pretty damn impressive. Wow. Yeah. And this one also has... A decent uh, amount more of like a bitterness, hot bitterness in there. And that's definitely not a bad thing. Still finishes very, very dry. Uh, you know, definitely on the lighter side of medium for a body. Nice, crisp, clean, refreshing type of mouthfeel. And of course, you know, the nice typical champagne like carbonation as well. But yeah, wow. The, um,. Hops have definitely taken over more in this beer than they do in the regular Duval. And this just is, it's so tasty because you get all the traditional uh, Duval taste, but with more hop, more hop bitterness, 
nice like you know citrus piney resinous hop character in there as well and it just makes this beer i think even better than it normally is and i love regular Duval. so this is just absolutely phenomenal very tasty and it's pretty cheap too it's only it was only 12 bucks for this bottle which i don't think is bad Okay, so scoring time, guys. As you know, I gave the regular Duval a 4.9. And you know what? I'm going with a full 5 out of 5 for this one. Fantastic beer. It it borders almost on like a, um, a, a Belgian strong, like an IPA. But it is just fantastic. You get everything that you love in the regular Duval. You get, you know, like the fruity esters, the typical Belgian yeast strain, the coriander, yeasty breading notes, cloves, banana. And then you also get a lot of the citra hop, you know, the citrus, like uh, uh, orange peel, lemon zest, all that kind of stuff just comes together to create a really awesome beer. And it hides the alcohol so well, drinks really, really well. So this one could definitely creep up on you. But yeah, fantastic stuff, and if you can find it, I strongly suggest going out and trying to grab this one up. Alright guys, that does it for this beer review, and remember, if you want to see any particular beer review, just leave me a comment, and I will try and get to that. Alright, I'm going to get back to drinking on this beer, and I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.